Awesome. Well, hello, Never Ending Referrals Tribe. We are so glad that you are here with us today. Uh, we have got a great, great treat in store for you. Uh, two super, super, superstars are going to share uh, their knowledge and their wisdom and their experience with all of us and really walk us through how they've been very intentional about not only networking at something like Family Reunion, also uh, how they've created uh, just a fantastic referral network with fellow agents. So uh, Steve is actually going to uh, kind of black out his screen today. He's got some things going on at his house. Uh, so it's going to be the girl show today. We're going we're gonna to rock this with all of you. Uh, just a little programming note before we jump in. Uh, we do not have a webinar next Friday as uh, most of us will be at family reunion. So just a, a side note, make sure that you note that uh, on your calendars. So uh, before I jump in, I would love to introduce you to the two lovely ladies that you see on your screen. Uh, so Missy, if you could just uh, share with everybody uh, who you are, where you're from, and just a little bit about Missy. Hi guys, I'm Missy Webb. I'm in Oklahoma City. I have a small team here and um, I know that this is never ending referrals. However, I'm also bold. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, so Anne, tell us about Anne. Oh, thanks. Well, thank you so much for including Missy and I, Tammy. You are definitely my favorite bold coach. Um, so I am Ann Aranda and I am in St. Louis, um, 10 times bold, nine times ALC, uh, 43 agent referrals closed last year. So um, I'm delighted to be here. Well, we're so glad that you are here. And Missy, I, that's a great thing too. You and I talked about that. How many agent referrals did you close last year? We closed 33 last year. Oh my gosh. So, so you see what we've, we've got in front of us are just some powerhouses uh, that are very intentional about that. So uh, here's what I'd love to do. I'm going to ask you some questions and uh, just to let everybody in the Never Any Referral community know, we will open it up to uh, some Q&A at the end. And so if you would just write your questions in the Q&A box uh, versus the chat box, we will definitely get those answered for you. Uh, so Missy, I'm going to jump in with you first. We talked about uh, how you choose where you're going to go at places like Family Reunion, because there are so many different networking opportunities. And Anne, I'll be coming to you next. How do you choose where to go uh, when it comes to which events you go to? Like if it's a breakfast, if it's a mastermind, or what is it? So just share with us. So I, I look at that a couple of different ways. I look at um, who else is going to be attending and who I need to spend some time with maybe somebody already in my network that I want some FaceTime with or someone I don't yet know. Um, I also strategically look for um, who's moving to Oklahoma City, where are they coming from? And I wanna fill those kind of slots in my roster, so to speak, for those locations. And then also, um, I just kind of look at what I need to learn and where I am in my business and who I wanna get in relationship with. I love that. And how about you? Do you do anything different or uh, share with us how you decide where you're going to spend your time? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, so I have very specific goals for family reunion. I go to family reunion just to generate and um, solidify agent to agent relationships. That is my one thing, my number one goal. So um, one of the first things I do is marry on to other people's events. And what I mean by that, so lady leaders, Rachel Adams, Grace Schiffman, um, and there are a bunch of us that volunteer. So the way that I got involved with these rock stars is by saying, hi, how can I help? Because like Grace, it, amazing Grace, of course, is what we call her, is just such a go-getter and works so hard and she'll do all the work herself. And so literally she runs five or six events at family reunion. I just said, I'm available all six times. How can I help? So now we, you know, we're in front of everyone that comes to these events. It's awesome with your smile and your happy face, all that good stuff. So sort of like Missy, I look at the events that are happening and I look for either the influencers or the people I'm in relationship or the people I am in a relationship with that I haven't met. 
Um, so when I saw you last year, Tammy, at the restaurant, I was having a small, there were like 18 of us having dinner together before we took off on our air flights. Um, so just either bringing people together or honestly, for those of you in the audience who are like, how could I do that for next week? Just marry on to events and volunteer. There are, there's always a need. And don't take no for an answer. <clears throat> well, I, I love that. So, so there, uh, to be piggyback on that, uh, how did you all find out about these groups? Because most of them exist in Facebook groups, and that's how they started and how they communicate and how they interact with each other. How did you all find out about those groups? Um, so Ricky Kane, Austin, Texas, really was the master of this. I think he started inviting a bunch of us. I don't know how I got invited. I have no idea. Um, I, I literally have no idea. I cannot recall. But anyway, he had just a happy hour after, I think, the first day of family reunion. And so um, about 80 people showed up, something like that. It was about 12 years ago. And now it's become, you know, the events outside of family reunion are maybe more important to agent to agent relationships than the breakout sessions. And so it just kind of grew from there. The next year there were three or four events. The year after that, there were, you know, 20 events. Now it's actually just ask the ALC members in your office. If you're an ALC, literally ask the people, there's gotta be an influencer. Who's the go-to person in your office? Like Missy is a go-to person in her office. Um, you know, so ALC members are a really great place to start and just say, hey, how do I get involved in things at family reunion next week? Literally, you can ask right now. I, I love mean, that. after this webinar, not right now. <laughs> yes, after the webinar, I like that. Again. So, Missy, how about you? How did you how did you find out about these groups and and get invited? So, I actually um, I sent an agent referral to Los Angeles. I went into the Bold Group and I looked for an agent there. And everybody mentioned this one particular agent. So picked up the phone, called him, and he seemed like a great fit. And he got in relationship with me and taught me about agent referrals. His name is David Hitt. And mm -hmm. then he added me to all of these other groups. And every time something came up for Oklahoma City, he would say, oh, you must interview Missy. I'm like, what is going on? This is amazing. <laughs> and he actually introduced me to Anne. Yes, I, everybody, everybody knows Anne, right? So, so here's what's really interesting. You both said basically the same thing, that it was, it was you know, almost one person that kind of started the ball rolling and got you included in all these groups. So I hope that you're all writing that down. You know, who in your office can you talk to that can uh, introduce you and create these relationships that these ladies have really been able to leverage? Um, can I give you two more tips really quick? Can, absolutely. Again, you can do right now. So go to Eventbrite and put in Keller Williams and it will populate with everything that's happening. It, it may not say family reunion, so don't put that in, but put Keller Williams. It'll populate the next two weeks of events. You know, three quarters of them will be at family reunion in Dallas, of course, pay attention to what's where, and you can invite your darn self. Um, so that's a huge, huge one. And then, um, also on Facebook, Missy mentioned Facebook. So put in the search line in your Facebook, just on your page, Keller Williams Family Reunion, and literally it will populate with like hundreds of groups and things. So that's another way. When you go into some of these groups at the top of the group, there's a search line. Um, it's a small magnifying glass. Go in there and put in like Dallas or February 2020 or a family reunion and, and it'll pull up all of the events that are open to everyone. So hopefully that helps. Oh, that's a great help. That's a Woo. great help. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to something and I'm looking at, you know, Missy and I, when we, when we spoke about some of this, um, you talked about some of the relationships that you seek out have to do with helping your business. So can you share a little bit about that and give us some examples? So I think most of my personal and professional growth has come from the people that I'm able to get in relationship with. And when I first started um, kind of understanding that I had these relationships and connections with agents in other markets, uh, I would see something, maybe they posted on Facebook and I would think, 
Well, that's amazing. So you pick up the phone and you call and they share everything with you. Like, oh, here's all, everything I'm doing in my market, say it's, it's Craigslist or here's my FISBO system or, you know, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Most of the success in my um, business, aside from my coach and bold and all of those things is my agent relationships. Yeah, it's so important. Yeah, and when we were talking about this, you said that you literally will seek out those mentors, uh, those people that you can spend some time with and develop a relationship with on purpose, you know, while we're at an event like Mega Camp or Family Reunion. Well, and something Ann said earlier, um, don't take no for an answer. I'm the same way with my relationships. And if there's somebody that I, I want to know, maybe someone on the same trajectory two or three years ahead, or someone who's mastered something I'm just beginning, I will walk up to them and say, hi, I'm Missy. What do I do to get in relationship with you? Yeah. Boy, write that down. Simple and easy and it works. Right? Awesome. Missy, awesome. you are so good at that. Oh my gosh. I mean, literally amazing. I see the relationships that Missy has generated even just over like the past two years. And it is the who's who of Keller Williams. Unbelievable. So only because she asked. Yeah, she's being intentional. Mm -hmm. So when we're at events, and let's talk about events since we're talking about family reunion, uh, do you all... Either one of you, do you hand out things? Do you take collateral materials? And so if you do, so show us what it is and, and walk us through that. So, and you both have different, different things that you do here. So this is going to be really interesting for them to hear from each of you. So uh, Missy, let's start with you. So um, yesterday it was interesting because you asked me, I'm going to show you my business cards and then you're going to think it's so crazy that I actually don't hand them out at family reunion. So this is my really fancy soft card. And on the back, I have all of my territories mm -hmm. so that you always know. And the first family reunion I went to, I was that person on the corner, like, hi, would you? <laughs> and, and it didn't really do anything for me because I didn't have anyone else's contact information. And so now I, might, I, I carry a, a little box with me and if somebody asks for one, I'll give it to them. And I'm very intentional about getting their information, whether it's the Kelly scan or they hand me a card because it's, am I supposed to go ahead and share? Yeah. It's all about getting contact information, getting into relationship, just like we do with buyers or sellers or someone at an open house. It's not what happens right then, it's your follow-up. It's the relationship. It's what happens at, at whatever time the open house ends. Do you call them the next day? Do you call them within five minutes? What's your system around that relationship? Mm -hmm. Exactly the same with agent referrals. Fantastic. So you're not giving them a card and are you, are you giving them your contact information or are you, are you getting theirs into your phone? So I, I mean, I will give you a card if you want one, because maybe some other people are also intentional about getting into a relationship with me, which makes me really take notice. I reciprocate. If you want to get in a relationship with me, I'm game. And I want contact information. So I collect cards. I collect Kelly scans. And then what happens after that is you reach out, you call them. Hey, it was so great to meet you at blank at film reunion. Tell me a little bit about your business. We didn't have very much time there. Awesome. And it so, just from there. So you said a couple of really important things. Um, number one, you know, using Kelly to just be able to grab somebody's information very quickly and get them into your database. And we're going to talk about your database in just a second as well. And, and I think the power in what Missy just said is that she follows up after the event. Nobody passes referrals back and forth just based on that business card or even the contact information. It's all on the relationship. And you're very purposeful about making sure that you develop that relationship after you get back home. I love it. All right, so Anne, you just showed us some of your collateral. So tell um, us, because here's, here's the thing, there's no right or wrong, it works for you, right? Yeah. So, so share with us what Anne does. Okay, so it's not really collateral. It's really for my referral partners. So once you're a referral partner with me, um, Missy, would you say that I keep in touch pretty much? Oh, you guys, I have a whole room that I should dedicate to Anne's gifts. 
<laughs> and they're silly, right? They're just the silliest things you've ever seen. So um, once we're in relationship, and that means I've met you somewhere, that's all it means, um, or you've sent me a referral, uh, I put together things for family reunion or mega camp. Um, and they look, so I've already shipped these to my hotel. So I have like these little candy things. And this little thing says, grateful for sweet friends like you. Um, I have these created at Vista Print, these little cards. And then I do put my card on the back, but only because I have thousands of cards and I literally never, ever hand out a card ever. So I might as well staple them to the back of this little guy. Um, so that's the only time I ever give um, a business card but I don't expect that anyone to follow up on that. I also do, so I do really inexpensive stuff. Like these are a buck. You can get them on Amazon. They're little Hershey kiss thingies like you get at Christmas. Um, these are a dollar at Walmart. Um, I, I uh, bought a thousand of them to bring to family reunion. Uh, I, we created them, we shipped them in advance. They're sitting there at the hotel for me when I get there on Thursday morning. Um, and so again, I guess that's collateral, but I'm giving them to my referral partners really to say thank you. Um, it's that simple. When Missy says she puts together a follow-up, I keep in mind guys that people don't remember who you are unless you've touched them in one way or another at least eight times. That is a marketing, you know, truism it, it's just the way that it is and so what i would suggest to you is that you put together an eight touch plan for those agents that you do want to be in relationship with like if missy and i are going to be at family reunion please come up and say hello i'm not joking you won't be able to miss us at all um especially if you're at the events outside and so seriously please come say hello you will see how we implement these strategies that we're talking about so eight point, eight point um, touch plan. So I do a handwritten note. I try to take a photo with everyone that I meet that I want to continue a relationship with. I drop that into a card and then follow up. That way I use send out cards. I call, I text once a week. Every person that I've met, I do that with. So, um, well, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. I do that 200 to 250 people every single week. Um, so again, have something in mind for that. Missy, I was talking to Missy recently and she said, I, I, she calls me Amazon and I'm like, what the hell? Anyway, I mean, heck, what the heck? So one of the things that I do, I do silly, silly, silly stuff. So like this, again, grateful for sweet friends like you. Um, that's a little silly. And by the way, I'm not really a very silly person. I'm a pretty serious person. Ah, <laughs> So, so my said, very favorite Anne gift ever, I connected her with someone in Oklahoma City that was looking for a St. Louis agent. And it, I didn't even have the referral. I just connected her. And about a week later, I got these four highlighters from Amazon on my doorstep with a sweet little cheesy note that said, your referrals are the highlight of my business. And I keep these in my backpack. I use them all the time. That is so sweet. I love that. That is so fun. And then, like I send bath bombs around Mother's Day. I think I sent bath bombs saying, you know, you're the greatest referral partner. You're the bomb.com. Um, Skittles, you know, I think I said something about a rainbow between two referral hearts. Um, chocolate hearts. I sent chocolate hearts out last week in advance of family reunion for, um, Again, in advance, keep in mind that you're proactively communicating. That's a really big deal too, guys. So reactive is once you've met something, someone and that you want to respond. But I would really encourage you literally to proactively communicate as well. You have a week till family reunion. Maybe pick 10 people. You know, you've got Dove Hearts. They're five bucks. They're 10 bucks on Amazon. Write them a cute little card. If, it, if you don't have Amazon Prime, you need to. Because um, it makes these things super simple to do. I mean, just really, honestly, you're talking five minutes a day to send 10 of these out. Um, so it's just super, super fun. Um, extra gum. You know, thanks for going the extra mile for my business. Whatever that is. Look up Pop Buys on Pinterest or on Go you know, Google Pop Buys. Really great, really inexpensive ideas. You just have to do it. And so aren't, we're talking about deeper relationships than surface, aren't we? Oh, yeah. 
So. Yeah. I mean, it's the more value uh, and time that you pour into somebody, obviously, you know, you both are seeing those results and you're proof that that relationship matters. And, you know, I think another thing that would be really important uh, to point out is everything that we're talking about today, you know, obviously we're, we're, re we're relating this to family reunion because that's next week. However, do you both do this locally as well? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So you do and I teach it locally too. So let's talk profit share for a minute. Oh, wait, I'm getting off track. That's another, that's another webinar. Um, so yeah, I, my, pro that. my profit share tree is filled with people that I've taught these strategies to outside of Keller Williams. I love that. Ann. Yeah. That's just so fun. Are you kidding? It's so great. It's like and I know I am, I am also the recipient of your amazing text messages. And, uh, and I always say, I don't know exactly what, what her schedule is. I just know that I am on Anne's schedule and, and I get those amazing emails with all the, the beautiful emojis and, and they just make me smile. And I'm so grateful that you do that. So, I mean, it works. Um, so let's go back to something. Uh, Missy and, and Anne, you both have mentioned pop buys. Would you explain to them, you know, what that is and what that, what that visit looks like? Missy, how about you jump in? So um, I do not have as robust a system as Anne. I am so lucky to be the recipient of Anne's system and relationship. The, the one that I do every year and don't miss is sending um, some kind of gift, uh, Christmas gift to all of my, my top people. And so this past year I sent 118, um, my family and I sat around my kitchen table and we made little clothespin reindeer ornaments and we, send them, we sent them to all of our referral partners. Just a little handmade gift with love, totally cheesy. And I just wanted them to feel loved because I love them, so. We love you too. We do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. So um, something else that uh, came up in conversation as well is that uh, you guys also share what other agents are doing. It's not just what you're doing. It's you also are really good at sharing what other agents are doing and connecting people together. Can yes. you talk, talk about that a little bit? So I'll run with that. Um, so for instance, I'm going to tie this back to what Missy said at the beginning of the conversation. Literally, David Hitt in Los Angeles is a referral king with just a heart of gold. Mm -hmm. And so um, he was kind enough to connect Missy and I. So you basically get in relationship with the people that you see are influencers um, and that have hearts like yours, by the way. So this is not about trying to get in relationship with 150 people at family reunion. I mean, my suggestion is that you're very strategic about it. Of course, you know, Tammy, Misty, and Anne should be at the top of your list. No, I'm just kidding you. <laughs> but we would love to meet you. I think I forgot what the question is. Well, how, how you, it's okay. It's all right. So sure. how do you seek out those, those relationships with somebody and then also by using that relationship to, to connect them with perhaps somebody else. Oh, yes. Okay. A very so, great connection. Yeah. So, I mean, for instance, when Missy said she didn't refer me someone, she referred actually as somebody outside of KW, I think, I can't remember, um, without looking at my notes. I have a very strong database, by the way, so you don't have to remember anything. It's all at your fingertips. Um, and so um, she introduced me to Aaron Patron, I believe, who introduced me to a client who has introduced me to like five other people. So my goal for Missy is to connect her with the best influencers and to be very, I mean, just always be grateful. And how can I contribute to her life? Yes, the bath bombs are fun and the highlighters and the Skittles, but like that doesn't make a relationship. That's just kind of fun. Um, and so it really is, how can I help your business grow? Where are people moving to Oklahoma City or Noman, Oklahoma from? And we'll literally sit and talk about those areas. And I'll be like, well, I know these three people in, you know, Chicago and the, and the greater Chicago area. Do you know any of these three people? And she'll say, well, I know these two, but I do not know this one. I'm like, great. We're having a happy hour on Thursday, the 13th. 
please come and I'm going to personally introduce you to Tammy Youngst or whatever the case may be. So again, it's very deep and very strategic. You don't have to have a whole lot of relationships if you take them deeper. And again, it's got to be someone that has a similar heart to you. So if you're like a D, I'm a DC, by the way, I just look like an I. Um, and so in the disc scale, I'm sorry, that may not have made sense. But anyway, um, and so Missy and I have really strong similar tendencies. And so we're just drawn to each other. Our hearts are similar. I'm going to reiterate it. You don't have to be friends with everyone. Find your tribe, your people. And Tammy, you're like smiling off the charts there. But literally, I really keep in touch with, well, 250 people. But that's really stretching. It's really more like 30, honestly. And that generates all this business. We just happen to be talking about agent to agent referrals. Oh, and the last thing I'll say about that is um, last year, I took 23 weeks vacation. Wow. Yeah. So wow. I have to be really strategic because otherwise I couldn't get all of this done. It's also highly leveraged. Like I didn't create these, you know, my assistant did, you know, I just said, Hey, run with this idea. All right, pack those up and send them off those kinds of things. So if literally, if you have a good idea, share it with someone else, um, yeah. just because, and because if it works for you, it's going to work for someone else. Same. If you have a great relationship, share it with someone else, act on it. Don't, we're not stingy at Keller Williams. We're family. And so share that. Like if you hear something today, please, please share it with someone else in your office, in your home, in the grocery store, whatever it is. There's just um, so much to share. There is, there is. It, thank you. And I'm, I'm going to ask one last question of both of you, and then we're going to open it up to some uh, Q&A. Uh, so uh, I think we've walked around, you know, through all these different ways that they can meet people, be intentional about relationships. Um, not handing things out, you know, following up. And I think that, you know, you both said to me, you know, the fortune was in the follow-up. And so what I'd really love to hear from you and, and Missy, I'll jump over to you first is you know, when you get home or you meet somebody, you know, we specifically talked about your database and, Anne, you just mentioned yours too. So both of you are very database centered and you're operating inside of that database. Can you share with us what that follow-up plan looks like and how often do you reach out to these folks? So what I'm gonna do is when I get home, I'm gonna hand a stack of business cards to my director of ops and she's gonna put them all in my command. And then I will make phone calls to connect and remind people, you know, hey, we met at such and such event. So of course, when you're there, jot down like on the business cards, you know, like, hey, we're at this lead with kindness event. Um, so I'll call and connect and then I'll find out a little bit about their business because um, to kind of piggyback on the answer that Ann just gave too, I'm also a connector of what my referral partners are really good at. And when I see somebody say, hey, can someone share an open house strategy? I'm gonna know five or six people, I can say, oh, connect with this person. Um, so find out a little bit about their business and then you do the database too, guys, you call them every quarter minimum, you find them on Facebook, you get into relationship, you learn about their business and their personal life. So you can ask your board questions. The system works when you work the system. Yeah, it's great to hear. And you're using it with agents. So it's your entire database, not just past clients. It's everybody in the database is on DTD too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Awesome. And same with you. Um, so I'm a little bit more high touch with fewer people, I'm going to say, at least based on what Missy just said. So I, I literally keep in touch with about 250 people. And that includes agents, by the way. That is my database here in St. Louis. That is past clients, et cetera. I mean, it really is about 250 people. And that fuels my business at a, and the people in my downlines business. So my first level downline, um, I was not able to help um, folks because we were traveling so much. And so I put 237 closings into my downline here in St. Louis um, in 2019. And so like, I don't just keep all the good stuff to myself. If we're traveling, like I'm the listing agent for my team and that's it. And I don't want another listing agent, you know? So I was very specific about what I can and can't do, but then how to best serve the agent 
partner or the client at the same time. So it's not like, you know, when somebody tags you in a referral, for instance, and you're like, yep, I don't work that area. I'm like, Missy, no, I don't say no, I don't work that area. I have somebody that works every single area in Missouri. And by the way, so Missouri is, we move a lot in Missouri, about 70% of the business that comes my way, it's folks who are moving from out of St. Louis, but in Missouri to St. Louis. So Kansas City, Springfield, Rolla, Cape Girardeau, Columbia. Um, and so I know where people are moving from. Um, I've been a part of opening two other Keller Williams offices just based on sending a Remax and a Realty Executives agent referrals over and over and over again. And they start asking you about Keller. Like, I don't tell anyone about Keller. I don't you know, people don't even know who I worked for, generally speaking. But when the relationship starts, they'll start asking you about it. They're like, could you tell me about this? I'll be like, yeah, later. Never, you know, let's just talk about this right now, about a strategy we can implement. So it's really just about taking whatever you're doing um, for me, it's kind of those 250 people taking whatever you're doing and just doing it really deep. Got and it. Keep in mind, each one, teach one. So like if you're doing something well, tell somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's that, that, that whole full circle, right? And so I don't do much with command. I don't do much with the larger database. I'm sure I'm just leaving business on the table. And guess what? I'm totally okay with that. I'm a firm believer that if you're deep with people, well, like even Tammy, you're like, can you help us out? I'm like, the answer is yes. What do you need? Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Yes, you I can said. help you. Yes. Yes. You said yes before. I just want to do what I was calling for. Yeah. I love it. Well, let me jump into some Q&A and I want to honor your time and honor their time. Uh, Wendy asks, do you have an example of an eight touch plan for agents? So Missy, I'm going to jump over to you. What so would be I, I don't, am I, okay, I'm not muted. I don't have an eight touch plan. I, I uh, do my initial phone call and then um, I'm also picky. It feels weird to say this and yet I'm also kind of picky. Part of my initial phone call is figuring out who I want to really go deeper with. Yeah. Mm. So like, does this person make the cut? Is this my top, you know, just like with our past clients, you have your top tier people and your, so you're doing the same with agent referrals. So the people that I go further with, I, I do my, um, do in the database too, they get on that. Um, I have not yet created an email campaign with a giveaway that's actually in the works now, like a book giveaway or something really cool every month, something of value. And then um, the Facebook touches and things like that, text messages. So I don't have an actual written plan. And thanks to Wendy's question, I bet I will by the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> and when you do, do, will you share it with us so we can share it with them? All yeah. right. Awesome. There you go. There you go. So uh, Kathy asked, what is a Kelly scan? So Kathy, that is uh, your Keller Williams app, Kelly, K-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E, and Kelly allows you to either scan a QR code or enter somebody's information. And when you enter it through Kelly, there you go. Um, it goes directly into your command database. So. Fantastic. So we got that one. So can when I, uh, can I give some input on that, Tammy? Absolutely can. Okay. So fool around with that before you get to uh, Keller Williams family reunion. So I use my screensaver is my QR code. So anytime anyone says, so basically I don't have to open Kelly and scan theirs. They just scan mine. Now I want to scan theirs back unless I'm moving on to something else, have something else on, on track for that period of time, but make it your um, uh, screensaver on your phone. Easy to grab it and do it. Yep. Yep. And, and by the way, you, um, everybody, you find that your QR code, when you uh, log into Kelly and go into your information, um, your, your QR code is there. And then all you do is snap, snap a, a screenshot on your phone and then save it as your, as your wallpaper. It's a great idea. Um, let's see. So, um, Wendy says, I'd love to learn how to grow my profit share tree using systems. So we may do another interview on that one. Cause I think there's probably an entire webinar around that. Would you all agree? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And also here's the best way to learn how to do that. Teach it in your market center. When you're teaching, 
you're learning. Like if you don't know how to do it at all, just go to your productivity coach or your team leader or your ATL or I don't know who, you know, the ALC and volunteer to teach that. So you'll have to get real good at it in order to stand up in front of people and do it. And that's one of my strategies always. It's like, I'm not very good at that. Oh, I probably should teach it. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. um, so another one, I have referred continuously to three KW agents in Maryland, New York, and DC over the past five years, and I've never received anything back. What am I doing wrong? Have you asked why? Yeah, there you go. Uh, just follow up with them and ask, you know, what you could do differently to get some referrals back. And they may not have referrals to right. give to you. A lot of times, like Missy and I are connecting other people. So Missy sent me to, I think it's Aaron. And so I include Missy every single time I'm in connection with that client. I say, oh, I was with Patty today and we had dinner and here's what we did. And here's a picture of me with her kids. And I also include Aaron. And then I include the person who introduced me to Missy, which is David Hitt. And then I include the person who introduced me to David Hitt. That's called the great retrace from seven levels of communication mm -hmm. but so book. You just, yeah you're just always spreading gratitude and love love it, it. Can also be that you're not doing anything wrong it could be that you're not in relationship with people who want to reciprocate people who aren't thinking bigger and thinking of it as a system very true very true i mean both of you look at that this is this is part of your business plan right okay. and for many yeah. people it's not so Lynette has a great question around that. She says, Missy and Anne, if you do the same, uh, what are some of the traits that you look for before you choose to get into a relationship? And Missy, because you said you talk to them first to just find out if you're feeling it. So there you go. Uh, well, so my, my very first thing is I, I listen for complaining. I listen to victim language. I listen to... <laughs> Uh, right? Because as okay. soon as I hear that, I'm like, whoa, whoa, stop, stop. I don't have room for that. And I throw up those walls and I'm like, um, and after that, I want someone who is um, a kind of big picture with this and also a connector. Also, um, I, just do we have rapport? Do we laugh? Are you hilarious? Are you sarcastic? Are you growth minded? Do you love to read? Just things that are important to me. Do we yep. connect on those levels? The, the hard and fast rules, the deal breakers would be the, the negative energy and the complaining. Mm -hmm. After that, just are we connecting? Yeah, agree. Agree. And same for you? Uh, pretty much. I mean, Missy and I see eye to eye on almost everything, maybe except size. Um, I go real small. I think she's building real big in terms of numbers of people to keep in touch with. But yeah, I think it's a heart thing. I think it's a tribe thing. You either yeah. just totally jive with people or you don't, and you do not, just like with clients, guys, these are clients, these are your agent relationship clients. And so literally look for the people that you fit best with. Everyone has somebody for them, and then that somebody's gonna introduce you to another somebody, and ask. I say to people in advance of family reunion, who do you know that I don't know that you could introduce me to personally in a one-on-one -on -one at family reunion? So I'm setting two processes in place there. Oh, we need to have a one-on-one -on -one at family reunion. And who can you bring that I need to know? And then also, I'll bring someone. So then it becomes kind of four people. And here's who I think might best fit with you. And so you're always coming from contribution. Forget about what somebody can give you. Figure out what you can give other people, and they will be falling all over you. So true. So mm -hmm. true. Yeah. And one other thing, Tammy, yeah. as far as some criteria, I know this is silly and I want to share a story because it's so important when you go to family reunion, not to be this person. There was somebody that I was connected to um, through a mutual friend and we were in relationship for about a year and we had not yet met face to face. So um, at an event uh, probably a year and a half ago, finally met face to face. I met this mixer and this gentleman, I see him and I'm like, oh, it's you. I'm so excited to meet you. Hey, it's Missy. And he was so drunk. He couldn't even form a sentence. Mm. And so here's the interesting part, guys. We're in relationship and he's my person. And then he wasn't because six months later, I had clients moving to his area. I got on the phone and called other agents in the area. And now I send my referrals to someone else there. Don't be that person. You are there to work and represent yourself. Very yeah, true. Sure. Good advice. Great advice. 
Um, all right. So somebody says, where did you learn to do these touches and put the systems in place? Was it through MAPS coaching? Or did you just come up with it on your own? I learned it from Anne, so I'm going to let her answer the question. And, and I got to say, I was going to say the same thing. Not, not, I learned it from other people. So I think maybe one of the things that um, I do best is finding, oh, say, so Seven Levels of Communication is probably the best book you could read tonight. It's about a three-hour read. You haven't mastered it in three hours, but it's, it'll give you a lot of ideas to jump off of. And so literally Seven Levels of Communication go from relationship, uh, referral to relationship to referral, I beg your pardon, we call it seven levels of communication. So anyway, literally, it is, it'll give you so many ideas to implement, just like anything, implement one at a time, pick one that resonates with you. Um, but I have to say, that's a really good place to start. Agree, agree. Well, ladies, before we let you go, we would absolutely love to get you and your contact information out to everybody on the webinar. So, um, Anne, you're unmuted right now. So if you would, um, obviously, Anne Aranda, you are in Chesterfield, Missouri, right? Which is St. Louis. Yeah. So I serve St. Louis, Missouri. So would you share with everybody uh, very slowly your telephone number and your email address? So what I would ask for you all to do, if you're interested in being a relate in a relationship, is to text me your contact information. My phone number is 636-236-6646. Again, that's 636-236-6646. Six six four six. You can do your best to connect with me on Facebook, but I'm basically at Max Friends, so that's not going to work for you. If you follow me on Facebook, I post almost every single day with a lot of activity, so you'll see a lot of influencers there. You can grab my friends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but again, I serve St. Louis, Missouri, and um, if we're wrapping up, Tammy, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, a Missy. Uh, let's, how, how would you like them to reach out to you? I don't care. You can send a carrier pigeon. <laughs> so my cell number is 405-664-1259. And I do have some room for friends. So you can find me Missy Webb on Facebook. I love it. I love it. Um, last question just came through. Will either of you be on a panel at Family Reunion? Not this year. Yeah, so me either. I actually wasn't going to be at family reunion and just made a decision a few weeks ago to go. My, my family is going to be elsewhere. And our youngest is a senior in college. And so uh, I've decided I've, I'm definitely coming to family reunion. I'll be there Thursday to Thursday. Um, and I would love to meet any and all of you. So again, I'm really going to encourage you if you see us or you hear someone talking about us, you know how Missy just said, she just walks right up to people. I can't tell you how thrilled that makes us. I'm telling you, it totally floats our boat and we'll, you'll be a rock star too. We'll treat you like you're a rock star too, I promise. And so um, just a lot of fun. Please come say hello or reach out to um, either Missy or I in advance of family reunion. Fantastic. And we're also happy to send a list of some of the mixers that we'll be attending um, yeah. if that's helpful. I would, that would be very helpful. I'll send uh, it. You, yeah. you are both on the, the Never Ending Referrals VIP room. So uh, we can certainly post something on that Facebook page too. So um, I just want to thank you both. Uh, gosh, what incredible information from both of you. What a pleasure to interview you. So thank you for sharing yourselves with all of us. And I can't wait to see you both next week. I know. Yay. <laughs> all right. Awesome. All right, guys. Until uh, two weeks from today. We'll see you two weeks from today. Missy Ann, mwah. Smooches from St. Louis. That's your thing. <laughs> it is. <laughs>